Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am Khalid Mahmood, your online trainer. So, are you ready to improve your AutoCAD skill? Today we will create exercise 31 step by step in AutoCAD. This tutorial is designed for a beginner and advanced user. And by the end of this video, you have a complete understanding of this drawing. You can download this exercise from description box. So let's get started. Step 1. Setting up the drawing. Open your AutoCAD and set the workspace to 2D drafting annotation. Type UN, press enter. Select as a decimal, precision 0, insertion scale will be millimeter. Press OK. Now as per your requirement, need to activate ortho and grid. Now step 2. Create the center circle. This one is center circle. Diameter will be 14. So activate C for circle command. Click on specific center point. D for diameter. Put a diameter value as a 14. Press enter. Now step 3. Creating the outer circle. If you see very carefully, this one is a outer circle. Okay. Radius will be 35 from same center point. So using C for circle command, click on same center point and radius will be 35. Press enter. Now step 4. Adding the outer slot. If you see this diagram, this one is a outer slot. So we are going to create this one. Radius will be 42 and this line from this line distance gap 14. So use C for circle command. Create a new circle with a radius 42. Click on center point and put a value as a 42. Create a line. Simply create a line from here to here. Center line. Select this line. Go to properties. Change a line type as a center line. And color will be red. Now select this line. Use RO for rotate command. From click on center point. Use C for copy. And click from here. Use offset command. Upside 7 and downside will be 7. O for offset. Put a value as a 7. Click on this line upside as a click on downside. Use the trim command to remove unwanted lines. So TR enter. T for cutting edge. Select this circle. Press enter. Trim this one and this one. Now again TR enter. T for cutting edge. Select this circle. Enter and trim this one and also this one. Now Use match command MA for match. Select this line and match this line. Now remove this line. Now TR double enter. Trim this circle and also this circle. Select this one E4 erase. Now select all the cutouts and use rotate and array command to distribute these around the circle. So we are going to select use A double R A Y array polar. Press enter. Click on this center point and put a value as a 12. Press enter. Now just click on close array. Cutouts are going to complete. Now step 5. Now we are going to add inner cutouts. So draw a big circle at a radius 7. So you see for circle command. Click on here center point and put a radius as a 7. M for move, L for last object, enter, click on specific point and use ortho for straight, upside it will be 24, press enter. Now again create a circle and radius will be 4. So you see for circle, click on same center point and radius will be 4, press enter. Use M for move, L for last object, enter. Click on a specific point and upside it will be 14. Press enter. L for line. Hold the control button and right click. Use as a tangent. From here, as same as use a tangent command for this one. Now select this line. Choose MI for mirror command. Click on this point to this point. Choose as a node. 
just zoom these part and need to trim unwanted circle tr enter t for cutting edge select this line and end this line press enter click and click now your inner cutout complete as same as we are going to create three more cutouts first here second here and third here so need to select this one choose as a polar array array polar command press enter click on center point put a value as a 4 press enter now close array now step 6 final touch select all the parts except these center lines go to properties change the line thickness as a 0 0.30 use a dimension command to put a dimension dli for dimension linear command for this one from here to here sms for this one from here to here use a radius command dra for dimension radius for this one sms for this one also sms for this one and this one if you put a value as a diameter you can activate ddi for diameter dimension command select the circle and put a value as a diameter use dli for dimension linear command from here to here put a value as a 14 now step 7 saving and exporting the drawing save your drawing pressing ctrl s and choose a location where you want to save before you complete your drawing check each and everything to reference drawing and make sure your drawing was completely accurate so congratulations you have successfully create exercise 31 in autocad i hope this tutorial was easy to follow if you found this helpful hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more autocad tutorial and also consider joining our youtube channel to support us and get our exclusive content see you in the next video ta ta bye bye take care